I am Clive Rossfield, brother and shield of Joshua, and you're watching Primal Liquid. What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome to my guide for Final Fantasy 16. In this video, we are going to be talking about the absolute best icon combinations to use for the game also i do just want to say okay if you are going to watch this video please beware that there will be spoilers in terms of what the order for icon unlocks is so if you do not want to know the order that you unlock icons in please stop watching if you do not mind about that then let's talk about it shall we so when it comes to icons there's a few things that you do have to take into account firstly the icon itself the icon ability that's the ability that you press circle for and then also the icon skills okay so when you start the game you start with phoenix and then the main ring for uh, Clive. Now, when it comes to Phoenix itself, there are actually some really, really good skills. However, we'll talk more about them in just a minute. One of the biggest things that we need to talk about first when deciding what icons to use is the main ability you get for equipping them. This is the ability that you use by pressing circle. So for Phoenix, for example, that is the Phoenix Shift. And then obviously for Garuda, that is the Teva. And for Titan, that is the Shield. This is the main thing that you should take into account when deciding on your free icon icons and the reason being for that is when you actually master a skill then you can equip that skill on any icon for example down here we have ignition which is clearly a fire skill but i have it equipped on shiva so once you actually have an ability mastered you can equip that onto any icon until that ability is mastered though then you can only equip it with that specific one now Let's talk about the circle abilities first. So for Phoenix, we have Phoenix Shift. This one is one that I do recommend using because it is a good gap closer. It allows you to close in and deal damage. Definitely a really, really nice ability, but it can also be used to avoid attacks as well. Then we have Garuda. Garuda's is Deadly Embrace, which will basically allow you to drag an enemy to you. Or when you are fighting a larger enemy, once you you hit the first stagger bar you can then also pull the enemy down and stun it for a few seconds longer allowing you to do some extra damage nice early on but falls off later in the game after that we have ramu ramu's is blind justice and this one is really really freaking bad it's basically just an ability to launch like 12 spells at enemies basically these spells are incredibly incredibly weak and honestly i got a little bit of use out of this early on but it very very quickly falls off in fact as soon as you unlock titan i actually suggest replacing ramu with titan unless you don't have judgment bolt mastered because this is a very very powerful skill as soon as you get judgment bolt mastered then replace ramu now titan's ability is the titanic block this is essentially a shield which allows you to guard attacks which is a lifesaver in all honesty this is definitely one of the most valuable abilities in the game for sure a lot of attacks are incredibly incredibly hard to dodge so the ability to block them is most definitely a welcome opportunity after titan we move on to bahamut with wings of light this is essentially a very very slow charging mega flare ability which just rains attacks down from the sky the attacks themselves are quite weak but it does last for a little while and it does also have good aoe the problem with this is it takes forever to charge now there are ways to speed the charging up for example you can dodge while in this mode however be warned you cannot attack while in this mode you are literally just floating there with bahamut's wings and unfortunately 
the damage itself is not worth losing all those attacks for now yes you can charge it faster by dodging uh, by dodging but even then it is really still not worthwhile in my opinion after that we have shiva now shiva's ability is called cold snap this is essentially a dodge that you use with ice it's an extra dodge basically it's a little bit faster than the regular dodge however as a benefit if you time your dodge correctly you will then also freeze enemies and if you also uh, press dodge again when you are near an enemy you will spawn a crystal like clive just did which will also deal damage to nearby enemies likewise when you dodge and then attack after doing this ability you will be able to freeze enemies for a split second allowing you to get extra attacks in after that we move on to odin odin is the arm of darkness and this replaces clive's sword with odin's weapon now this is a slow charging ability and while you are actually using this weapon you will deal less damage overall than clive's main weapon however the bonus here is you charge the zansetsuken level and at level three this is actually a ridiculously strong hit it is a multi-hit ability that deals nearly a thousand damage per hit this one skill alone on a staggered mob at level three will very easily deal over 15,000 damage okay this is absolutely one of the best abilities in the game it is ridiculously ridiculously strong so now that we've gone over the main abilities which ones do i suggest using well phoenix shift is one you get at the very start this is highly highly recommended to use throughout the whole game garuda's you can just use as you unlock it same with ramu however once you unlock titan that is where you want to start replacing things now this would this will depend on your play style but i would honestly suggest replacing garuda first until you max out judgment bolt once you master judgment bolt then you can replace ramu instead until that is mastered though keep ramu on because that is a very very strong spell as for Bahamut, completely ignore it unfortunately Bahamut, in my opinion is a very very bad icon to equip the abilities themselves are unfortunately nothing amazing and honestly it, it's rather weak the limit break on the other hand giga flare is quite powerful but the recharge time unfortunately makes it a little pointless and it's it's not really worth equipping in general if i'm honest so so far we have phoenix that is most definitely 100 percent we have titan which is nice now if you have master judgment bolt i would suggest using phoenix garuda and titan until you unlock shiva this is where i would replace garuda with shiva for the cold snap ability this is just an extra little damage increase and it does help with evasion as well and then one, last but not least once you unlock odin then you want to replace titan with odin this way your final party well your final icon equips will be phoenix odin and shiva these are most definitely the best three icons to use in my opinion but obviously play style will vary i know a lot of people will probably change shiva for something else after all now let's talk about abilities abilities are basically all these outer skills and inner skills and then we also have clive's skills as well now when it comes to these actual abilities some are good some are not so good and some are downright broken so let's talk about them shall we so first of all we have phoenix rising flames and scarlet cyclone good early on terrible overall you will replace both of these very very early to be honest heat wave is just absolutely amazing throughout the whole game and i do suggest using that for as long as possible and also mastering it then we have flames of rebirth this is <laughs> this is one of the most broken abilities in the game okay when you unlock this first if you look at the little picture on the right hand side there 
you will do just that attack there so that will stop so once all the extra fire comes out and you see the ring behind clive's back that is the level two onwards upgrade However, even with just level one, this one ability will kill everything in front of you and everything behind you. It is a massive, massive AoE that deals huge damage. Anything without a stagger bar, this skill will basically one shot throughout the game. And honestly, this is probably the first ultimate skill that I want 100% recommend you to get. It will speed any grinding up significantly, and it will also speed your general gameplay up significantly. As for the skills you want to use from Phoenix, Heat Wave and Flames of Rebirth for sure. Eventually, though, you will replace Heat Wave. In terms of Clive's main skills, you definitely want to get all the outer skills just because because you know they they don't really take up slots and you might as well just master them anyway of course once you unlock ifrit properly then you do want to master out limit breaker just so you have four limit bar gurges and then you also want ignition ignition is one of the best skills in this game it is multi-hitting and it deals ridiculously insane damage there are in fact you can you can literally count the skills stronger than this on one hand and if you take ultimate skills out of the equation there's only one thing really that is better than this skill as soon as you unlock this you will be using this for the entire game it is that freaking broken then we have willow axe that's terrible just ignore that i honestly i got that just because i wanted to try it out with a few different builds and the damage is just significantly too low to be of any real use it is a wasted slot now when it comes to garuda there are a couple of good skills so gouge is okay for increasing the stagger gauge however its damage is naturally really really bad wicked wheel again is good for staggering but does fall off later in the game the ultimate aerial blast is yeah i mean it's okay but it's nothing it's nothing amazing by any means Ramu, we have Pile Drive and we have Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm can honestly be ignored. That is really not that good. The charge up time for it is too slow and the damage is rather lacking. Lightning Rod is good for large enemies. It basically creates a small a small skill like a small little dot around the area and every time you hit that it deals electric damage to enemies and of course anytime enemies hit it it will also deal damage as well. It is good for larger enemies and bosses, but for smaller enemies and groups, it's kind of pointless because they just move away way too easily, and you will also attack them out of range as well, making it kind of redundant. Pile Drive is really, really nice until you get later in the game, but ultimately it does get replaced as well. Then we have Judgment Bolt, the ultimate ability for Ramu. This is hands down one of the absolute strongest skills in the game. And in fact, so far, I have found nothing that deals more damage than this. The only downside is it is an ultimate ability, so it does have a longer cooldown. Now for Titan, you can ignore pretty much all of Titan's skills other than Wind Up. This is a really, really strong one which does a lot of damage, especially to staggered enemies, especially when charged correctly. I'm just going to skip Bahamut and Shiva here, as those skills are, to be quite frank, incredibly, incredibly pointless. It's like both, they have their niche uses, but ultimately you're not really ever going to use them. You may use Mesmerize, which drags enemies in towards you, but Ignition does the exact same thing and it deals infinitely more damage. So I prefer to use that. As for Odin, the best skill for Odin is most definitely the Arm of Darkness, but we already have that. However, Heaven's Cloud and Gunganir are also extremely good at charging the Zansetsuken level up to level 3, allowing you to get huge, huge damage out. There is Rift Slip as well, which is good for chaining combos together, as you can basically use this as a cancel ability. And then last but not least, we have the Dancing Steel. This 
is a very very strong ability it has so many hits and it basically gives you almost a guaranteed level three zansetsuken so once again a very very nice one in fact i'm actually going to repurchase that uh, because i have been testing a bunch of other abilities out so what i would do now is i would replace that with gunganir basically heaven's cloud is just way too good to take off so i'm just going to reset gunganir and then yeah i still can't master it whoops oh that's fine but either way when it comes to the absolute best icons and best abilities to equip as i said i definitely recommend phoenix odin and shiva for abilities flames of rebirth because it is incredibly incredibly strong and it has good aoe we have heat wave which deals nice damage is ranged and also aoe as well for odin definitely gunganir which as i mentioned i am going to replace that with dancing steel these abilities don't really do a huge amount of damage they are good for charging these assets who can level up though which does deal amazing amazing damage and then we have shiva shiva's equipped for her main circle ability but we are not using any of shiva's skills instead i am using judgment bolt which is most definitely the hardest hitting attack in the game and then we have ignition this is an ability i use to group enemies up a lot and pretty much anything without a stagger gauge this does pretty much one shot now some really nice accessories to take along with these are accessories which reduce the cooldown of flames of rebirth and judgment bolt these two skills alone are going to be the bulk of your damage and the bulk of your stagger damage in fact judgment bolt alone is pretty much guaranteed a full stagger bar so obviously there is the split in the middle pretty much no matter what you are going to hit that bar unless we're talking about actual bosses but even then it still does an insane insane amount of stagger damage and there we go guys that is in my opinion what i think is the absolute best icons to use in final fantasy 16 and the best skills to use along with them however obviously play styles will vary and when a play style varies that means that the best in slot skills will vary as well so do not take my word as gospel here use abilities that better match your play style if you're going to use more magic than anything use bahamut instead if you are like me and you like getting really deep into the action then i personally think this is definitely one of the better sets to go for but let me know what you think down below in the comments and of course if this video really helped you then make sure you hit that like button as well as it really helps the channel out and if you want to see even more final fantasy 16 guides then hit subscribe and stay tuned i have absolutely loads coming for you guys as always everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you soon